If you go on any platform of social media, you will see every source of advertisement for the best active wear, the best shorts, the best sports bras, and it just goes on and on. And I've done a bunch of them as well, like the best leggings that I found on Amazon and things like that, the best sports bras. I've done tons of those. But today I wanted to switch it up and I wanted to tell you what I regret buying. So the things that I wish I didn't buy still to this day. If you are interested and you want to learn from my mistakes, then stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, it really supports my channel, and enjoy the rest. Item number one is actually this cropped Zaya shirt. It wasn't cropped to begin with, but I like couldn't stand it, so I cropped it to make it better, which actually did work, so I don't hate it as much. But it was obviously a little bit more pricey than I would like to pay for a shirt that I didn't like. Um, however, it just hugged my stomach. Like, in all the wrong places, it didn't suck me in or anything. It was kind of like loose, and then all of a sudden, like, around my tummy. So it's like, if I was bloated, or you know, I had some things that I shouldn't eat, this shirt would let you know before you even felt it. So like, it just wasn't a very good, like, confident shirt, you know? Like, I want to put on a shirt and be like, yeah, I'm freaking hot, but this was not it. So if you were someone that is, like, self-conscious of your stomach, or you just, like, want to feel sexy in a shirt, don't buy this. Item number two is this adorable crop shirt from Gymshark. It is so cute, I absolutely love it, except it was a waste of money. So I know that sounds contradicting. However, I find that it's just never the perfect weather for it. So if I'm really cold, I'm not gonna wear this because it's half of a shirt. But if I'm really hot, I'm not gonna wear this because the freaking material doesn't breathe. And I know people say, oh, it's so breathable, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if they're sponsored because like, this shirt is not breathable, like at all. So. That's my issue with this shirt, so for that reason, I've never worn it. I've tried to wear it during a workout, got too hot, ended up exchanging it for something else, and I wore something else during the workout. But I just, I regret buying it because it was more expensive than like a shirt I would normally pay for, and I've never freaking worn it because it's just never the right temperature. I don't know if I'm being dramatic, but like, don't buy this because also, also, you are constantly pulling it down. So I don't know if I got the wrong size. I got a small, which I normally do in tops, but constantly pulling it down over my boobs really annoying. The next item on my list was kind of surprising because I used to live for these and they are the Wonder Unders from Lululemon. So this used to be my favorite pair of leggings. I always get my correct size but for some reason, I don't know if anyone else finds this problem, now all they do is slide down. So I don't know if I'm just accustomed to other leggings that don't fall down during my workouts and now I'm like what the heck Lululemon but for the price point, your leggings should stay up and I've tried different sizes but I'm getting the right size, so I'm very disappointed with that because you don't want to be tugging at your leggings constantly as you're working out. Um, other than that, they are squat proof, which is nice, but for the price point and the fact that you always have to touch them during a workout, I'm not a fan, really not a fan. So I've actually been disappointed and I have not bought any more Lululemons and I probably won't until someone else convinces me they're worth the money again. The next item are these Nike pants and I passionately hate them and regret buying them. Probably number one out of all of these five items that I'm gonna show you because one, they are not squat proof, probably the most see-through pant I own and they're not very flattering because this line, like, I don't know, it, like the way it hits your hip makes you look like you have big hips and not like a cute Kardashian way, like a ate too much kind of way like it's just not cute and it's not good and I don't find them flattering so I always wear like a longer shirt with them and because you can see your butt through them so like naturally I would wear a longer shirt but I felt like for the price point and they just should have better quality because I was disappointed but yeah definitely don't get them like out of any item that I'm gonna say do not get these because it just has like a crappy waistband it looks like they it feels like they made them in like four minutes and then just charged a bunch of money so don't do it the next item on my list are these Zaya leggings. Super cute color, absolutely love those uh, for the color, but they are so unflattering. Out of all of the leggings I have, they are the most unflattering leggings. And I find like they just show a lot of stuff, especially in the sun. Like if you're self-conscious about cellulite and all that stuff and you wanna feel like sexy in a pair of leggings, these are not it. Like. I can't express that enough. Do not buy these if you have cellulite or if you are self-conscious about cellulite and you are trying to work it off desperately while trying to work out and you put these on and then you just feel worse. So like honestly, 
huge hit in the ego, so I wouldn't recommend these. Uh, they, I don't know if I said this already, but they are squat proof and they don't fall down. So if you're into that, that's fine. But like, and if you maybe have no cellulite or you aren't like worried about that kind of stuff or just looking unflattering, but it does show underwear lines and that really bothers me. So like I go commando, but if you are someone that wants to wear underwear and not see the lines, also don't get them. You know what I mean? Trust me, don't spend the money. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you learned from me and my mistakes. A lot of times you have to just test things out. You see them on social media, but it's hard to know like the truth about whether they like fit really well or they actually look the way they do since everyone freaking photoshops their photos now. Drives me crazy. Uh, so anyways, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like it, support me and my little puppy Bano. He's so cute, I love him. I'm gonna put a picture up here so you can know how cute he is. So anyway, support us, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.